City of Angels, 2021. Dearest reader, the time has come to place our bets for the upcoming cuffing season. Consider the house of Baron Lockhart, a young mistress by the name of Alice. She is quite a fair young lady, beautiful, charming, although awfully clumsy and easily embarrassed. Far better odds might exist in the household of Viscount Worthington, where Miss Genevieve spends her days gossiping and looking for eligible or ineligible bachelors to take her off the marriage market. And last, but certainly not least, in the house of Earl Sinclair, Miss Josephine Sinclair was named this season's incomparable. Who wouldn't want to be her? Poised, well-mannered, and very easy on the eyes. But as we know, the brighter lady shines, the faster she may burn. My, my, my! These gentlemen are quite the work of art. Truly, look over there. <gasps> I've never seen such a gentleman as beautiful as he. read what Lady Bustdown has written of late? Yes. No! Do tell, Genevieve. Well, Constance Fitzgerald was seen gallivanting with Nigel at a brothel. And I overheard her telling her mama that she hasn't started her courses this month. And she also acquired a very strong itch. <gasps> oh, Genevieve. Never mind with Constance. Hmm. Well, it seems like someone is quite upset because they too fancied Nigel Hopper. <sighs> Cuffing season is amongst us. Alice, should you have any suitors? Since you inquired, yes. My suitor is a suave, debonair man and well endowed, I must say. I cannot wait for you both to meet him. Has he asked for your hand? My suitor stopped by yesterday evening and left roses but I'm keeping my options open. That sounds lovely for you both. And you, Josephine, have you found a new suitor? Well, I thought Lord Bixie was a shoe in but he too had his moments with Constance, it seems. Oh. Genevieve, you should consider your words more carefully. Hmm. Never mind Bixley, Nigel, or even Constance for that matter. I have more important things to think about. I wish to marry for love, unlike you who would surely marry anything with a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite warm, is it not? Well, my suitor, I invited him to brunch, but he said that he needed a haircut and would not be in attendance. A haircut? <laughs> Surely that takes a mere 40 minutes. What is he to do with the rest of his day? <clears throat> Quite delicious. I had not thought of that. And if you must know, Genevieve, yes, I do have a few suitors. There are plenty of men trying to marry me while I do have my eyes set on one fine milk chocolate man. However, things between us two are hush hush. Josephine, I concur. Cuffing season in the city of angels can be quite challenging, filled with rakes and schemers. But do tell, Josephine, who is this milk chocolate man that you speak of? I thought you fancied more of a darker chocolate man. Is he of higher ranking? Do not spare detail. <laughs> 
Genevieve, I dare not say, as you fancy stealing suitors for yourself, whether eligible or ineligible. Oh, that... that was merely a ruse. <laughs> oh, no thank you. I hear celery juice is good for your skin. I also remembered to pack my reusable straw. Now, Josephine, I know what you mean. I too fancy a nice dark chocolate gentleman. The darker, the better. <laughs> I suppose she confused her thoughts. Alice, have you ever fancied a whiter chocolate gentleman? Josephine make haste. Alice clearly wants all the black men for herself. <laughs> you both will have to excuse me. I'm going to use the ladies' room. I will be back in a mere moment. Cheers. You're a devil. <laughs> My Sutu will be in the park today. He's meeting his brother, but I told him I wished to see him. He should be here any moment. I can't wait for you both to meet. Hmm. I was unaware we were inviting our suitors to brunch. He's arrived. Good afternoon, Your Grace. Josephine. Your Grace? Genevieve, I can... Your Grace, I thought you couldn't make it. Miss Lockhart, I can explain. <sighs> what on earth is happening? Well, it appears that the Duke of Slauson is the biggest rake in the City of Angels. Surely you knew we were all courting to get booed up, Your Grace. Were you truly unaware that we were all friends? But instead, you attempted to swoon us all. Ladies, Everett Davenport, Duke of Slauson, is for the streets. Genevieve, I can explain. <laughs> Genevieve? Three times over, Your Grace? Well, I should be going now. My mama summons me. Ah. <sighs> Thank you for your most unwelcome appearance, Your Grace. Genevieve and I must get going. We shan't be seen unchaperoned with such an unworthy man at such an hour. Come on. Ladies, wait. But I believe I should like to stay. After all, I am a Worthington, worthy of a title such as Duchess of Slauson. Oh, the Duke has truly put your head in a spin. Well, I shall be going. I refuse to fellowship with someone of such dubious parentage. Fine. Duke! Oh. Everett, I burn for you. Genevieve Worthington, I burn for you. I shall be back in a moment, Your Grace. I have to fetch my pocketbook. My bro. <laughs> Cunning, to say the least. I have no idea what you mean. Well, surely you pass what along to your dear younger brother when you're three. <laughs> <laughs> ah, round up the tavern on me. I like her. She's not. Of all that I have imparted to you, dear reader, there is but one bit of wisdom you must heed most. One can never know the truth of a relationship hiding behind closed doors. Beware indeed, blushing hot girls, Josephine and Genevieve. You know not the future that awaits. Will one of you win over the Duke of Slauson? Or both be left to wait in the shallows for every late text or call. Oh, I do love a scandal. All is fair in love and war, dear reader. If there is a scandal, 
I shall uncover it. Yours truly, Lady Bustown.